Hey, this is Duck McFuddle, and today we are going to be playing Simple Rockets 2 again. So, second Simple Rockets 2. Um, and this time, we're going to be doing something a bit more ambitious than last time. Last time, we got... <clears throat> sorry. Last time, we got to orbit, and that's awesome. Um, but this time, we're going to be going to the moon. I know, that's like a pretty advanced space program, just straight from orbit to the moon. Uh, but that's okay. So... This time, I don't think we're going to be going back from this moon trip because uh, I don't think I think that's too ambitious for us right now. I don't think we need to be doing that. Oh, whoa, 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 what the heck? This is a weird, weird, no, weird nose cone. It's like bigger than the craft. Better. Um, so right now, I'm just going to be designing the part that's going to land on the moon. So we won't have that much fuel because we don't need that much fuel. What? There we, go. we don't need that much fuel. But what we do need is the proper engine. And this is the Pixie engine. It is the lower power engine useful for second stages and landing on small planetary bodies. That is amazing. That's awesome. Like, really amazing because that's what we're using for this one. It's good for landing on small planetary bodies like the moon. So, I think we're also going to need a landing leg. And we're also going to need to set the... Wait... No, we need a landing leg, and then these are huge landing legs. And then we set the symmetry to, uh, to three landing legs. We'll say four, so make it good. And then we have this is going to be our little landing pod. And there's no EVA yet in this, like KSP, but it'll be kind of cool, you know, just to land there and say I did it. Um, if we go out to here, yeah, we see them all extended, and that's what it'll look like. That looks pretty sweet. You know, actually, we can make this, this off. We can make this a bit longer, I think. Put these down a bit to, like, there. And put the engine on. So that looks good. That's like a good top stage. And next, we want the interstage. This thing. Which, actually, it automatically goes to, like, the perfect size for the engine. That's cool. Um, so that's good. And then we want this big old fuel tank. You know, this time I think we're gonna go, this is gonna be a pretty big stage right here. And it's gonna have a mage engine on it because those are good for this kind of thing. Oh, I almost forgot. We're also gonna want a fairing. That's very important because, um, what? This fairing is weird. Fairing base? There we go. not right what's happening i just want a fairing i want an interstage and then a fairing that's so much to ask fairing base there we go i to pull that lever and then the fairing like that oh nice take another one we can make them just taller. <laughs> I should have realized that before I had another one, but whatever. There we go. There's the fairy. And then, um, the interstage, and then, yeah, that should work. So now I have this top part. And we want, I guess, another interstage, because that's a good stage right there. And then a fuel tank. Now we're going to go in bigger this time. This time it's going to go out a bit. What? Yeah, oh, that looks good. Like that. So now it goes out a bit. Before, uh, cause now, because the next fuel tank is going to be extra big. Because we're going to have an Apex engine. What? What? Oh my gosh. Apex engine. Yeah, that's right. We're using the big jumbo engine and that's awesome so we'll have this like that and this can go out to here that's it look at this beautiful looking rocket already it looks amazing this thing could probably get to orbit <laughs> but we don't need to get to orbit we need to get to the moon so let's add our, add our next interstage and um and another this is gonna be the biggest fuel tank this is gonna be the launch stage it's gonna be super tall it's a tall rocket 
and um and it's obviously gonna have another apex engine on it um like that and then we want more fuel tanks on the sides um like this that are mirrored four of them they're gonna be tall but not quite that tall and maybe maybe like that big no because we want them to be the right side size for the mage engines so oh my god did i just get rid of one of the things nope those are still four wait it's like because that was a right click that i did that oh right clicks makes a copy that's really useful actually i didn't know it could do that um okay mage engine i cannot get distracted mage engine fits that looks like a nice bottom and uh and a nose cone and maybe we'll actually take these off and instead under gizmos wait it's not under gizmos is it? it's under structural uh, some side de side interstages so that there's so that this can come off what surely not look at that it looks beautiful this is some rocket it's going to the moon let's fly let's fly this should be uh should be interesting <laughs> let's be annoyed at that weird spinny thing i think we should have to go really lightly like that like that perfect yeah see see i'm not i'm not angering the spinny gods i'm being very gentle um but we're gonna activate those four engines They messed up. The they messed up the staging. They messed up the staging. Why does it keep doing this? The staging, like in the original Simple Rockets, the auto staging was like perfect. But now look, we have these, and then they detach. Like what? It should be these and these, and then they detach, and then that fires, and then yeah, that de that detaches it, and then that fires, and then that detaches, and that fires, and that detaches, and that fires, and that. What? Oh, it's the fairing. Yeah, perfect. And then that detaches and that fires and the landing legs. Excellent. Actually, we should make the landing legs there. So we have that detaches and the landing legs and then the, yeah, rocket, whatever. Okay, play. <coughs> oh God, what just happens? I'm having my throat. And maybe I'm getting a cold. Okay. Here we are, here we are. Activate those, activate that, and fire them all up. Please tell me these are enough to lift it off. Is it that heavy? Please don't tell me it's that, that's ridiculous. Do we need even more power? Mower boosters? Okay. Very gentle gravity turn. I don't want to overtax this thing because so it feels a bit, uh, a bit rickety. Like it could blow up at any second. And don't tell that to the astronauts. Don't tell that to the astronauts that are on board. Don't worry, astronauts. It's totally okay. No danger whatsoever. Just, uh, just, uh, be careful and make sure that fire extinguisher is handy. Not that you'll need it, of course. How's your back doing? Okay, looking good, looking good. It's, this thing is really no velocity. It's just barely keeping itself alive. I think this thing might be a bit heavy to propel itself into space. You know, the Saturn V has to have been, has to have been heavy when it was being tested. And that, and it ended up getting to the moon so we can do it too with a heavy rocket. Although this is going way slower than all the other ones. And it's, this is just draining fuel. This isn't what it should be looking like. But you know, we're getting there. See that? And the moon is out here. That's uh, Luna. Luna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back to the 
back to looking at the ship. Back to looking at the ship. There we go. I didn't need this ship. Okay, looking good. And we are, we are ascending, not descending. So that's pretty, that's good. That's always a good thing. <laughs> this is just like what the best, like, uh, rocket engineers say to each other. If it's ascending instead of descending, we're doing something right. Because <laughs> you know you're doing something wrong when the rocket's just falling back to Earth. <laughs> Catch everything. Fire this engine. Let's see. I think that's a big enough orbit. Uh, I'll wait till it gets to 100 kilometers. Okay, cut the engines. Actually, a bit more. I don't want to waste fuel. But we have to make sure this is good. Okay. Okay, now we can fast forward. Maybe even warp. Oh, we can warp. Okay, okay, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're almost at orbit. Let's go to like here, because it's heavy, and points there. Slowly get ready to turn. And full power! And blast using that epic Apex One engine. Just guzzling fuel. I got the fucker just explode it. Just blow it up. We doing oh we got this we got this we're, we're getting into orbit this time i might even get to the moon yeah huh how's that sound how's that sound moon you want to get landed on i can do it. oh shoot we're not going to get to orbit on this stage okay. oh so close whatever activate the next one might still be able to get to the moon if we're careful conserve our fuel greatly okay we're in orbit that's all that matters now we've got an orbit now i don't know what the transfer window is for this i don't know anything but i'm gonna assume it's like kind of 45 degrees like most moons are in these games so what way is the moon moving oh shoot we're going back into the atmosphere oh no Oh my god, no. We're gonna hit the atmosphere. Fire! The engines. Okay. This is not good. We're still in the atmosphere. We're still in the atmosphere. So if we can... There's no way we're getting out of this but i just realized we don't have a parachute we weren't planning on coming home so we're not even going to be able to abort this mission we're going around this way we're totally screwed okay i have an idea point this way and fire the engine and slow us down oh my god that already got burned off the fairing got burned off how fast are we moving let's try and land Activate those. Oh, there we go. I hate how there's no. Ex I hate how there's no explosion when you burn up. You just go, foof, and you're just gone. Like just gone out of nowhere. I think I, it looks like you're. You kind of fly back the other way. If I kind of blasted those engines at the last second, I might have even done it. But I guess not. You know, maybe I'm not. I'm just not good enough for this game. Maybe I'm just not skilled enough. But I'm not gonna say that. We're gonna undo, exit, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh, I tried to crack my knuckles. But it's, oh, there we go. Hear that? I can't do it again. Can I do it the other way? No, I can't. Well, you heard that crack, right? That was very, very uh, intimidating. So, you know, keep an eye out for that intimidation factor. Let's get this and let's mirror it even more. So it's six times, six of them. This should be strong enough. More boosters. Let's do it. 
We're gonna do it this time. I'm not gonna take no for an answer. Well, I might. Because I'm dumb. What was that? It just detached them. Because the staging was messed up again. Stop messing up the staging, Simple Rockets. It's not funny. I don't enjoy it. The heck, I'm so actually annoyed though. And it detached that one as well? What? Is this even? This is... Apex 100 should be here. Stage two. These other stages shouldn't be like that. Stage two is an empty stage. So these all fire. Why are they all under the same group? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Three interstages. This one, this one, and these eight are all... Are all grouped under the same... Oh, here we go. Okay. These side interstages can stay. This one goes somewhere up there. And this one go here. So now I activate this, then we detach them, then we detach this. Stage four is nothing. Why is the staging so messed up? This. So yeah, that's all good. Where's far that engine? What part is this? Stage four is nothing. So we should get rid of stage four. So fire those. Detach those. Detach. Attach it and fire it. Oh, okay. We know, because it's not highlighted. It's highlighted because I'm holding it. Oh my God, stop selecting, stop selecting, stop selecting. Yeah, do the paint, that's good. I'm getting irritated. You know, I'll probably cut this out. Um, I'm just gonna fiddle with it until I get the stage in, because it's kind of messed up, so. Three, two, one. Okay, I got it all back online again. It seems to be working. This is probably seems okay now. Um, I think we're good to go. This time we're gonna try the lazy solution. Um, this one is somewhat less efficient, but a lot easier and leaves a lot less room for error. So, where is the moon right now? It's over there. So we're now gonna work a bit until the moon is approximately over there. Because then we're just going to go straight up <laughs> and intercept it. We're not going to do any of that fancy orbiting stuff. Oh, no, no. We're not smart enough for that. And we need the planet to be rotating like that. Perfect. Okay. So now it is dusk. Oh, I love that dusk lighting. Look at the sun. It's just setting. It's just, maybe it's rising. I don't know. And we're going to activate these engines and this engine. Because I got the staging figured out. So it means they can respect me i spent hours on that staging it was horrible i went through like 80 google sites and how it wasn't working and i and it was only five minutes and i didn't do any of that but you gotta respect me you gotta respect me so keep it at that keep it keep respecting me pretend that i did it now the simple rockets in the first one Straight up, and then we go straight. 
straight up and just intersect with the moon right there. And if for even a little bit off, you just up, you know, like the line goes like that. It's, it's like just like that. You know, okay. we can have it well, I guess, because then when we go up and down, it adds more time and everything. Um, so it seems okay. It seems like we're gonna do it this time. Are we flipping over? We're actually trying. God, they almost hit me. Did you see that? Oh my God. That was terrifying. If that had hit us, that would have just been the worst luck in the world, like crazy. Okay, look at that. We're getting pretty far out now. There goes the engine. Okay, activate this one, the mage engine. It's kind of funny because the fairing is like twice the size of the actual rock. This is still dutifully going up, and soon it's going to be like kind of raw, like shoot up. Um, once well, like you know the some sciency stuff that I don't know. <laughs> I should know, so I, I I usually I know a lot about red rockets in the space and stuff, but this is not. I don't know what that is why this suddenly this is like accelerating coming up. We're not gonna actually not be able to do but if we just barely if we just barely and use some of the fuel on the lander to get there oh no darn it so we're gonna set it as our current target over here we're gonna go back to this graph so now we have our, this target here that's where it's gonna be when we're at our final point now we get rid of that beautiful fairing and we see our awesome lander looking pretty fresh and crispy and, and sweet Cause that's what you know the rad kids say today. Um, you need to attach this. Pray my staging is okay. Activate this engine. You don't burn too much fuel. Oh, look at this! It's going perfectly. We're gonna get an encounter. We're gonna get an encounter. This is exciting. This is exciting. Ready? I'm gonna cut the engines. And now I'm gonna cut them right there. And search the pad. Oh my gosh, we got an encounter. That's amazing. Let's do just a bit so we get really close there. You can see that closeness. Now we have 88% still to land on it. And we're gonna be getting pretty close to that other body. So for the first time, we're gonna be really close to something other than Oru. I still don't know, is it called Oru? I think it's called Oru. Whatever. This doesn't seem to be uh, keeping its promises. This should be like up here by now. What? This is a lie. Actually, it might not be. Is it a lie or is it the truth? <gasps> it is the truth. And we are in this orbit of the moon. If we go out here, we can see the moon. Where is it? Where is it? There's there's the Uru. I actually don't see the moon. Where is it? It's still kind of far away. Am I above it? What? 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 I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. Whatever. We know we're getting close to it. Wait, hang on. If we look in the map, 
Let me look. Oh, it's like right next to the sun. Which might explain why I can't see it very well. Yeah, there it is. You can just barely, you can see that tiny outline. It's really close to the sun though, so we don't really, don't really get a good look at it. But now, if we fast forward a bit, you're gonna work a bit. I don't know how you quick save in this game. But now might be a good time to learn. Go to like there. And then we points prograde and retrograde. Whatever, I don't know. And there is the moon and all its and all its moony glory. Go to the map. And we accelerate. We can get into an orbit. Which will be nice. Because that'll mean we're one step closer to the moon. And I mean the moon's right there. See that? It looks perfect. It's a beautiful moon. I'm so glad we're not getting home because that's going to be a whole other issue. There it is. There's the moon. That's where we're going to be landing, maybe. Unless we explode, which we probably will. And we have achieved lunar orbit. Right now, because I'm going to go out to here. And yeah, no, never mind. All right, quick saving isn't a thing yet. So this is dangerous. We're living on the edge. Living on the edge. But we're also orbiting this awesome moon. Look at it, that looks awesome. I'm actually really impressed by the graphics of this game and the fact that that moon looks really sweet. That's awesome. Um, and I think now we're just gonna have to Let's see, we're gonna go around to the other side, to the dark side. So when we go in, prograde, I mean retrograde, like this. So now when we burn, when we burn, this will land on the uh, bright side. Bright side of life, bright side of the moon. And bingo, we have that and 58% fuel. We are killing this. Excellent. Where'd the moon go? We're on the dark side, aren't we? Yeah, there it is. It's like blotting out all the stars. You can just see it. Go on the map. We're gonna go slow. We don't wanna be warp hyper and accidentally crash into the surface. I bet we're gonna crash into the surface anyway. If we do, that's the end of this video. <laughs> Cause I'm not going through this all over again. Okay, here we are. We can now should be able to uh, see the moon, the lunar surface. And now we actually activate those landing legs. Because we're going to need to land at some point. Looks like they got some shocks in them. That's nice. So we don't know. We can touch down. We're just going to go like this. Be careful, be careful. We're going to be okay. We're going like this. Stop for a second. Look at that. Look at that moon. The graphics aren't very good actually from this close up, but I'm sure they'll get better as we zoom in. I don't think we're going to be landing on like pixels. Yeah, see? You can already see those graphics getting better. That's how it is on like KSP2. When you medium distance away from a planet, it looks bad because it's still in the outer space graphics. But when you get closer, it looks okay. You know, I'm getting some of those little tingles that you get when you're about to land on a planet. I'm getting some of that. Actually, I don't know if anybody else gets that. But I think now's the time when we should start to burn that engine and slow ourselves down. You can see the speed right there. Slowing ourselves down. We still have plenty of fuel. I don't think that's going to be an issue. really cool i really do like the way this is uh this is coming out it looks really neat the graphics and everything are pretty pretty excellent you know i do want to go to mars in this game too i've i've already said i want to build a space station and go to mars i'm a pretty ambitious uh, ambitious youtuber but we're uh we'll do it um another thing i would actually like to do in this game 
is they say that because right now the game is just in early access mode but they say that once it uh once it get comes out of early access and it's in regular mode they're going to uh add a planet builder which is amazing that's really really cool and i cannot wait for that because that's going to be really awesome i should be starting to burn here no, i think we can't really we can do a suicide burn because this is not this is pretty low gravity here so it's okay oh i'm actually nervous i'm actually nervous i'm actually quite nervous Oh my god, I don't know why I'm so nervous doing this. It's just because this is the first time I've done something super cool in Simple Rockets 2, and I really want to... Oh my god, we're going up now. So we definitely don't need to be burning this high up. We have 19% fuel, so this is when I'm starting to kind of... Under 20%. For some reason, I get super nervous. Burn, 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 burn. This is intense. We're just kind of slowly getting our way down. This looks scary. I'm nervous. Oh my god, these landing legs better be pretty uh, shock absorbent because this is a. Uh... Oh, I love how we're just trampolining slowly. We're just going up and down and up and down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, what? We did, did we just touch down? We touched down! We landed on the moon! We did it! What? What? I actually wasn't expecting that. We did it! We just landed on the moon with fuel to spare. That's incredible. I'm actually really excited. I'm so happy with that. That's pretty, uh... Wow! I can't believe I just did that. Well, we should probably end this video here on a high note. <laughs> um, just because that was so, so cool. Wow. I don't know why I'm really happy about this. Because, you know, I've landed on the moon and Minmus a billion times in Kirkville Space Program. But this is kind of my first time doing it in this game. And, you know, it feels good. It feels good to um, do that. Especially when there's no quick saves no quick saves and i just landed on the moon for my first for the first time in this game that's really exciting that's really awesome and i'm i'm pretty proud of myself i mean yeah i'm being an arrogant arrogant jerk right now but i'm so happy you know that's really cool so that that deserves a like right there yeah i'm gonna say you should like this video just because i landed on the moon yeah <laughs> i'm really surprised there weren't many more fails like there was the time we burned up in the atmosphere but that's not that big of a deal that was we didn't even get close to the moon and that direct going straight up to the moon that looks perfect like this is i'm just i'm really happy with that and we actually just landed on the moon on the body of another planet for the first time in simple rockets 2 and my second time playing this <laughs> like this is the second video I've ever made and I've already landed on the moon. That's that's pretty cool. I don't know why I'm going on and on about being so happy, but you know, I guess we should end it there, guys. So thank you for watching. Um please like, subscribe. I've got to get those subscribers up and comment down below if you want to know about any, you know, games I should play or what you want me to do in Simple Rockets next. Should I try and go to the Mars equivalent and like to go to Mars in this game? Or try to send a rover to the moon or like do a probe to Mars. I don't know. Maybe even start that space station. Whatever you want. I will do it if you suggest it. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video. Uh, I just burped. I'll see you in my next video.